The views and opinions of the hosts and guests are their own and do not necessarily reflect the position of the management and staff of Guardian Network. The aftermath of every social revolution brings about change. Cultural norms and landmarks shift as our minds and hearts expand beyond the familiar. To everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose in the land of the living. This is our time to renew, revive, and restore the hope lost to the busyness of life. This is our time to dig again and rebuild from the storms of our past on a solid footing that holds. Welcome to The Foundation. The Foundation. The Foundation of Hearts Grant is brought to you by Alive, Bone for Bones, Burger King, Commonwealth Bank, Doctors Hospital, Epic Battery, Grand Bahama News, Marcos Pizza, Nakak Athletics, Prince Masters, and Ron's Electric Motors. The Foundation. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, 96.9 FM radio, Howard Grant in your company, The Foundation. It is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful Thursday afternoon. I got to say shout out to all those good, decent people who are graduating during this time. Gabriel graduated. Um, <clears throat> Gabriel graduated. And my niece, my brother's daughter, his oldest daughter, she is graduating also uh, setting herself up to go to the first grade, Glory Grant. Congratulations to Glory Grant. Congratulations to Brooke. Congratulations to my brother, Stefan Grant, all those particular persons uh, who's celebrating this time. <laughs> Listen, the church just gone cra- we, uh, crazy. We just came from, um, uh, just ran into the studio, just came from, uh, I think it's St. George's on Montrose Avenue. Everybody's celebrating during that particular time. So I just want to be able to say congratulations to all those persons who are actually stepping out of uh, one tier, one field, and into another, being able to move in that direction. So I'm excited to talk about these things, guys. I'm excited to be able to have you here with us today. Got to say shout out to my good, decent people over at AFS Insurance Agents and Brokers. They got everything laid out for you. Make sure you go down there and check them out. I've been telling you that they are looking for people looking for people from an administrative standpoint to go down there and uh, look for your job as decent as possible. Make sure you do that. 341-1AFS, 341-1AFS. They got everything laid out for you. I'm grateful to do that. Always on Thursdays, we actually take our time out to be able to identify the fact that the paper is a little bit thicker. If you're buying your paper, make sure you pick up your Guardian newspaper. The paper is a little bit thicker, right? (laughs) It has some weight, some girth to it. And it's all because uh, the supplements in the paper and one more specific supplement is the obituary section. And so we always get somber at this particular time to tell you about the fact that if you're going through a transitional period, if you're one of those persons who had a loved one pass away, a brother, a sister, a wife, a husband, a father, a mother, any of these particular persons near and dear to you, a very close friend, uh, you know, you continue to be able to be in our thoughts and our prayers. We ask that the Father continues to watch over you. But if you're dealing with this kind of a transitional time, this tumultuous time in your life, and you want to be able to identify persons who are professional in their vantage point, in their position to be able to assist you and ensuring that they can capture the creativity, the character, the personality, everything uh, in that farewell, that last farewell, that goodbye that you say to your loved one, I always say to you, go check my people out over at Butler's Funeral Homes and Crematorium. Butler's Funeral Homes and Crematorium. They are A1 in the industry as it relates to being able to captivate the tradition, the essence of who, what this kind of funeralization is, and most definitely the concept and idea of being able to capture the character and the personality of your loved one. 
So go down there and check them out. They're on Ernest in York Street. They can be able to assist you in that particular manner. Guys, it's a beautiful day. I'm grateful to be here in your company to talk about these things. I want you guys to pick up the Guardian newspaper, all the information's in, probably to be able to talk with me about it. Um, the government has 25-year deal with Island Grid. We're going to talk about these things. Ministry explained the 60-40 share split and insisted BPL not being privatized. BPL tariff rate hike will be led, uh, will lead to price increases. This is what the chamber actually says. And then visitor arrivals up more than 12%. This is peculiar. I want to continue to talk about these things. I'm not excited and, um, you know, I don't think the confetti should fall simply because uh, visitor arrivals are, are growing. I think that we recognize the signs of the time. We recognize that people are going to move from one space to another. There is a looming concept in our ideas that's already been released in both social media and traditional media that says that we have to look out for another pandemic. So hurry up, get your travel on. What I am excited about is when and if, or rather if and when the government capitalizes on the amount of persons that are to the country capitalizes on a way that we could be able to ensure that we solidify take care of the persons that are uh, retirees so forth and so on we capitalize on these things that's where the excitement is for me not just merely being able to contrast the numbers that existed between 2019 and 2024 how do we capitalize on it that for me is what a New Day administration, that for me, is what New Day concepts are all about. And so I want to encourage the government for, to continue the course that they're on, but to be able to grab hold of innovation and creativity and ensuring that we could be able to move with this kind of a force into the future. So it's a beautiful day, guys. I know that I had some guests set up for you and set up to have this kind of a conversation. You know that it's Small Business Thursday. So I got to take this commercial break. Let me take this commercial break, identify these particular th persons, make sure that everything's laid out. And then we're going to get right back to you right after this. The foundation. Marco's is bringing you a pizza experience like never before. Introducing our new pizzoli baked with house-made dough. Stuffed with three fresh cheeses and premium toppings. Spiced with irresistible garlic sauce and Romichon seasoning for only $8.95. Choose from four incredible toppings. Buffalo chicken, pepperoni, chicken bacon ranch, and pepperoni and sausage. Order now at MarcosPizzaBahamas.com. Every store, every day, because this is not just pizza. Pizza, it's the Italian way. Great news. Ron's Electric Motors' new location on Cowpen Road, right next to Island Luck, is open Saturdays and Sundays. So for those needing repairs on electric motors, generators, welding machines, water pumps, battery charges, electric lifts, transformers, and power tools, Ron's Cowpen Road location can have you up and running on weekends. Don't forget, you can still visit Ron's Electric Motors on Wolf Road and Claridge Road, and now Ron's new location on Cowpen Road. Dial 356 024 or 32267. Do you have uncontrollable debt? Are you ready to make that move to Fidelity for a stress-free future? These loans have a built-in savings plan that pays you unbeatable interest. Ask about our debt consolidation loans today. Call 356-7764. Fidelity, we're good for you. Doctors Hospital has reimagined primary care. We have invested to improve our health system, ensuring that accessible, affordable, world-class clinical care is closer to you. We understand that your relationship with a primary care provider shapes the foundation of your overall health. Our new modern primary care facilities are where critical diagnoses and true personalized treatment begins. With locations across New Providence, Grand Bahama, and Exuma, we invite you to experience the Doctors Hospital difference. Book your next appointment at clinics.doctorshosp.com. The foundation. The foundation. The foundation. The foundation. 
And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, 96.9 FM radio. We have a very special segment set up for you uh, this morning and over the course of the next four weeks. I have come to Doctors Hospital, who is a uh, men's month, uh, health month, and being able to talk about those things. So we were eager to kind of identify those persons and talk about that. Now, our person's not here just yet, so please forgive us. We're going to be able to dive into that, and we're excited about this particular segment and really grateful to Doctors Hospital for affording us to an opportunity to be able to have this. So we're looking forward to that. So in the interim, I'd like to talk to you about a few things. Now, we started to talk about this, right? We, we started to talk about this yesterday, and I think it's time for us to be able to kind of dive into innovation. I, I think it's important. I think that we have uh, meandered around this kind of a la laissez fear, this lackadaisical concept and idea to what existence is. Can I say that? It's Thursday. I know that we're getting too deep. I'm trying to chill out with you, right? On the uh, one o'clock hour, we get some more persons to be able to come in with us. So we're going to we're going to be as decent as possible and return to our small business Thursday segment. But I think this this is kind of laying heavy on my heart, right? And and I want to be able to kind of flesh it out. It's time for us to tap into innovation. It's not enough for us to take on this kind of a position as a country, as a nation, as leaders, and just what existed in yesteryear and draw numbers and comparison to say that, okay, we're doing better numerically in comparison to how we did before. I think that's garbage. I mean, just I just want to be decent. I don't want to be too harsh with it, but I think it's it's done away with. It's not enough to say that I've been married for 36 years. I've been married for 47 years. But the love, the essence, the, the, the substance of the relationship has left you within the first 15 months. What are we doing? All we're doing is just pacing time, waiting for death. I think it's time for our country, our people, our leaders, and every leader that seeks to be able to represent in various subsectors, whether that be from a private standpoint or whether that be from the public governmental standpoint for your constituency, every leader needs to show his or her conviction to stand up and present innovation. Listen, if you don't know how to create concepts and plans, you could go to ChatGPT. You could go to OpenAI. You could go to all these particular things. Tell them what you want to do, and they'll create a plan for you. My God, this ain't hard. You come to the people with your hands swinging the house on Sunday with your hands swinging, but you come to the country in terms of leadership with nothing to offer. It's time for us to do that. Merely just being able to regurgitate the idea of what existed yesteryear is not moving the country forward. How are we going to move forward like this? So you see, uh, there is, we could, based upon projections, based upon if we could identify the numbers, the mean, mode, and median of our expectations for growth over the next course of, of um, two, three years, there's an expectation that we move from 9.6 million to, uh, tourists to close to 12.5 within the next three years. And we have yet to capitalize on that. We're having conversations about the sort of an idea that exists here and merely saying, okay, uh, these numbers are good, we're doing so well, our administration has created the infrastructure to be able to, to, to bring these persons in, but nothing, nothing, nothing. Innovation is not calling out to Mark Zuckerberg and say, can you create a space to ensure that taxation is included for persons within this particular region? That's not innovation is not being able to reach out to Airbnb and indicate that we want you to put an, an additional 10% and provide that data and information for all those particular persons who have Airbnbs in the country. That is not innovation. Innovation is ownership. Innovation is acquisition. Innovation is an opportunity for your people to be able to have a slice of the pie. Innovation is being able to revive, restore, and renew the concept of behemonization. Not just merely given platitudes and genuflecting to the concept that we're offering things and other countries are doing this and we're also doing. That's not innovation. There is no need to fear. 
Failure is only an opportunity for us to learn. That's it. We never fail. We only learn. And if you have that concept as a nation, it'll be nothing for us to be able to engage in something, execute on that particular thing, and if one up didn't work, if two up didn't work, if three up didn't work, my God, seven up can work. If WD1 didn't work, WD2 didn't work, my God, work. But we have to continue to work this concept. There's no need for us to have no further conversation with Airbnb. There's no need for us to have any conversations with them, um, any programs outside of the country. There shouldn't be. You shouldn't have to go. You can create a space. I don't understand this. There are people just now, I had a great opportunity to be able to talk to uh, the gentleman from um, beta, beta.co. Um, he actually came in. They was just on, 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 on um, Aaron and Nuri. They just sat with Aaron and Nuri. And being able to talk about those things, just walking out of the, the, the room, I asked him, what do you do? I didn't have a chance to listen because I was in the uh, graduation ceremony. Uh, what do you do? Oh, we do engineering concepts. and I, I, Quick, I don't have the time for all these other stuff. Tell me what you do. Tell me the concept. Tell me how I can be able to involve. This is what I do. This is what you do. Because guess what? In this dispensation, we are going to find each other. Those persons with like minds and like hearts to ensure that the country is moving forward, which to incorporate, to see us move forward with accountability and transparency, we are going to find each other. Now, the only thing from this juncture is for us to create a concept, put that thing to a white paper, and move this country forward. Politicians will do as they do historically. And that's a crying shame. That no one from a political standpoint has even identified the necessity for being able to pivot away from a course that is non-productive for the country. And if you are in the room and you're speaking about these things, it seems as though your voice travels off into the wilderness. It's time for us to speak louder. Airbnb, if you find out the information, realize that these concepts, was, they emerged from the Bahamas. They emerged from here. The people-to-people -people program should be instituted. There should be an opportunity, I'm going to give you a free nugget right now. I hope you are listening. There should be, if you're with Airbnb, that you have to pay VAT. That you have to pay a 10%, that you have to do these particular things and have to go through that course. There should be that. In fact, they should tax you more when you decide to use Airbnb. However, the government should create a space for one, to capture the data. They could create a, a website. They could create an app. They could create a division that persons can go right through there. Once you could sign up, but let's call it the people to people, Bahamas people to people. Right? BP and P. Let's go down. BP to P. Let's do that. Let's, let's, let's do it. Let's call it BP to P. Okay? You sign up with BP to P, Bahamas People to People program. You sign up on that. You identify where your house is. You uh, geotag your house. You identify that. You take all the pictures. You upload it on the government website. Anyone who rents your house from here. Don't have to pay no taxes. The government acknowledges you, provides you with a tin, all these particular things. You go through the formality of these things, and for 36 months, the government taxes you absolutely nothing. They also take your information that exists on BP2P and push that out. So now the government simultaneously is offering an opportunity for you. My God, why these people ain't taking? We don't have to go to nobody. People come in to us. We are both the supply and the demand. We get to say who, we get to say when. That's my wife's favorite line, maybe Rowan, from, uh, from, from Pretty Woman. I say who, I say, we get to say it. We get to say it. And I think it's time for us to recognize that it's becoming exhausting that we continue to be able to hear men with youthful faces speak with language, before their times. My God. It's almost like you're a political archaeologist and you're telling us about dinosaurs and sweeping up bones that is far gone. My God. I just want to be decent as I say this. Let's be decent in this time and dispensation. 
and understand our responsibility to tap into innovation, to grab hold of that thing, and to work it. Opportunities. We create spaces for young persons to realize that participation in my nation is participation in my future. If we do much of the exact same thing, we'll have much more of the same thing, a perpetuation of crime. This disdain, this sort of an idea where there's an exodus in our country because we have created no room for the youth. I was listening to this um, prophetic, uh, this young lady. Her name is Celestio. Do you listen to her? I was listening to Celestio on, um, I think it's the master's voice. Yeah, that's her, the master's voice. Her name is Celestial. And so she just, just released these, these prophetic words that she says that God says to her, so forth and so on. She's released some stuff about Tony Evans years ago. She's released some stuff about, um, um, believe it or not, Puff Daddy, um, um, T.D. Jakes and all these things. I would just listen. I just listen, right? And you wouldn't believe how I find these things. But anyway, I just listen to it. And just before I came in, I was listening to a podcast that actually started to speak about the next generation will have no inheritance. This is what the podcast was about. That the next generation will have absolutely no inheritance. That they are murderers, that they are connivers, that they are homicidal, that they are suicidal. And I was listening to this, and I said, this is peculiar. And she said, because the base is, is that their fathers and their father's fathers has lost their way. And not being able to speak to them about what we started to talk about at the beginning of the week, supremacy and a clear identification of a God that exists above all of us. We have nothing to offer the next generation, and we're actively carving out much more of our land, our space, our equity, and being able to ship it off and hide it in escrow accounts and hide it in, in, in Swiss bank accounts and hide it in the Cayman Islands. Under our beds and pillows and mattresses, we are hiding inheritance and expect there to be a flow, a move of currency. That's impossible. We have a responsibility locally. Responsibility. Not just to provide us a motto, an idea, a theme, and a rhythm of a New Day campaign, but to be able to identify from its roots, from the core, and pluck up that kind of uh, uh, the potential and move it towards kinetic. Pluck up that kind of an inconsistent move that we've been having in this country. Let's be decent, man. Just want to talk like this. I want to talk like this. And I want to let you know that this is where my heart is. This is a concern of mine. We're not using the elements afforded to us. There should be no young people out here trying to be able to scurry, to squeeze a couple dollars together, to be able to pitch their own concepts and ideas to come and at least speak to the, to, to, to the masses and say, these are our ideas. Hope to God that someone could be able to hear this and support us, hear this and provide us capital. This is bananas in this country, man. You guys don't mean what you're saying. There is creativity that exists here, but you create more and more red tape for young people to go through. Oh, do you have two bank accounts? How much capital do you have? What have you set aside? What do you, come on, man. These people have the ideas. Let's find a way to get this out of their minds and active in our society. I would encourage that, man. And while I'm sitting here talking with you, the first thing I think is that we should have a tech fair, a local tech fair. All right, a meet and greet for various persons, uh, uh, you know, just to be able to, to rub shoulders into idea, to exchange ideas. This should be something that the governments want to be able to do. I'm telling you, the first dispensation of the PLP, they were superb. They were absolutely phenomenal before uh, they put on that cloak of this kind of an ego concept and idea. They were phenomenal, man. They did what it took. They identified the talent that existed in this country. And every one of you, for, for, for better or for worse, got together and decided to close the gate to the future. I'm, I, I'm, I'm disappointed in that. Because the more and more I see, and the more and more we have conversations about this, 
this is not a space for young people, teens and 20s. I'm talking anybody under the age of 50. Let's be decent. 55. This is not a country that has the infrastructure that accommodates progressive ideas. You push us back and say, well, your time can come, brother. Wait till you get old. And so you stretch an opportunity for older persons by being able to even mention the fact that we should open up this the NIB to 67. What you mean? The gentleman come on TV said, I am 60-some and working now. Oh, but my God. And young people ain't got nothing to do with two degrees. They got two degrees and no job. They came back home with a degree and said, you know something? Let me be a professional student, go back to school and get another degree. Because they still need productivity. They have this burning desire to work and do something. Created no space for them to exist. That's a little food for thought, guys. That's a little something that I wanted to be able to rest on the table today. Um, my guests are still not here just yet. So... Um, if you want to be able to give me a call, I'd love you to do so. 323-6232, 325-4316-325-4259. Anywhere from the family violence, 242-300-5720. Hit me up, 422-4796. Right there on the text line, we're here live in, effect, uh, live in full effect, being able to talk about these things. On this beautiful Thursday, uh, midweek, guys, I, I'm hoping that you're here with me and we can lock eyes about the prospects and ideas about tomorrow. Sometimes you're just going to have to do away with governments that mean it's no good. And not that their heart is in the right place, but it's centered in yesteryear. Their heart is planted like their proverbial navel string in a place that they grew up, but not necessarily in a place where they currently live. My God, that's, that's deep. That's deep. Their heart, like their navel string, is planted in a place that they grew up, but not in a place where they currently live. You've left mama's yard a long time, but you're still thinking in those terms. Let's make some things happen, guys. I've got to take this quick commercial break and be right back after this. Foundation. Foundation. For fast, reliable, and impactful printing services, look no further. Let Printmasters bring your masterpiece to life. We stand by our quality products that is second to none. Our affordable pricing and friendly, efficient staff makes Printmasters the ultimate choice for all your printing needs. We can deliver any type of printing services, from banners to booklets to business cards. You name it, we can print it. Let Printmasters bring your masterpiece to life. Located the Nassau Guardian Building, telephone 302-2361. Looking for great device deals and offers this summer? Look no further. Alive has the smartphones, ring devices, and accessories. Plus, as an Alive customer, you can expect exclusive get extra offers and rewards, which means even more value for your money. We're talking more data, prizes, and surprises. Upgrade with us and experience the perfect summer with Alive in store or at bealive.com forward slash deal. Extra, extra. The Grand Bahama News is available every Tuesday in the Nassau Guardian. You can buy your local paper at Freeport Convenience Stores, Western Bakery, DeGregory's Fine Foods, and Bellevue Gifts. Now is the time to reach your Grand Bahama market with affordable packages, including print and digital. Call GB News Sales Representative Kavandre at 822-6717 or message him on WhatsApp for ad rates. Classified ads are now available every Tuesday as well. Keep up with everything Grand Bahamian every Tuesday in the Nassau Guardian. Now let me see now. 326 E-T-I-C. Hello? Hello? This, this epic? Eh, eh. This Miss Beulah from around the corner. I hear you are selling tires now on Wolf Road too. Praise the Lord. It's about time. I live Fox Hill and Fire Trail. It's too far. That ain't all. They open Monday to Friday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. On Sunday and holiday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. My brother Sam, he's a hacker and he could go right there and get fixed up. Call us at 326 Epic. We ship also to the family island. Foundation. 
found I found the foundation. The foundation. The foundation. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, 96.9 FM radio, Howard Grant and your company, the foundation, beautiful day, grateful to be in your company, always talking the way that we are. I got to give a shout out to my good, decent people over at Coco Plum Bistro, man. They are my, uh, they are my uh, good, decent people. If you are in the, in the, the market and you're looking for a, a kind of a space to go to celebrate with your child, whether they graduated from K4, K5 into the first grade, whether they graduated from sixth grade into the seventh grade. And I got to be able to, uh, I got to shout out my niece, my wife's uh, sister's daughter, right? Uh, Haley uh, Williams being able to do that. She did absolutely wonderful. Over at Xavier's Lower, she did wonderful in her stead. We want to be able to continue to celebrate her and celebrate all those persons. So even if you're in that space and uh, you're looking for some place to go, you're looking for something to do, you're looking for this kind of a, something to be able to celebrate, you can do that over at Coco Plum Bicho. they got everything available for you. Make sure you check them out. They uh, are open. You can give them a call now, 677-6776, 677-6776, or hit them up or at opentable.com, opentable.com. Uh, Shanta, let me know that they're going to be doing some stuff for Father's Day. I told you, we always enjoy ourselves there. Um, for Mother's Day, we were there. Uh, we were there for my wife's birthday. Uh, we continue to be able to go there and enjoy ourselves during that time. And so this is a beautiful place. This is a beautiful place for you to kind of kick back. Great drinks, great environment, having good times with you and your family, and kind of breaking bread together. You can go down there to Coco Plum Beach there on the Western the Western Road as you're leading towards Lyford Key right there at the Green Plaza on the right-hand side, which is the northern side. Go there, ask for Chantal, and she'll take very, very, very good care of you in those particular spaces. They got something going on for Father's Day also. Uh, fresh seafood. Uh, they got stew grouper. Um, they got black black and salmon, lobster, shrimp. Hardy Eats. Um, they have everything, man pork chops, the whole night. I'm just looking through this thing to see whether or not they got any crab and rice. I don't see it. <laughs> I don't see it, right? Uh, maybe I talked to so uh, Andres crab and rice. I talked way too soon. It's still there, right? So <laughs> It's still there. So guys, if you want to go down there, make sure you check it out. Coco Plum Bistro and Bar, uh, established way back in 2018, continuing to be able to provide superb customer service, a beautiful environment, and the most delicious foods. Coco Plum Bistro and Bar. Go check them out. Tell Chantel how it sent you down there and being, being able to do those things. Well, guys, like I said, if you're doing those things, please, please do so. Uh, with decency and in order, and being able to find some place that you could break bread with your with your family. Now, um, for this time, we were set for the next four weeks. We had, like I said, uh, doctors' hospital uh, coming in with us to have good conversations. Unfortunately, today they are they had to kind of push back and reschedule. Unfortunately, today they had to push back and reschedule. They had someone set up for that, and so we're looking for them to be able to come back. We're going to reschedule that. But every Thursday here on the foundation you, for the next four weeks, you're going to be able to hear a representative from Doctors Hospital being able to talk to us about men's health and being able to talk about the variations of what we should look at, how do we keep ourselves healthy and strong in preparation to have those 1,000 children that be... Is, is it just me? Is, is it just me, right? Is it just me? No, um, um, it's important that we do that and identify those things. I'm sorry, man. Sometimes I feel like I'm ranting with you as I talk about national issues. It's an exhausting thing to see much of the exact same thing, right? It's an exhausting thing to see that you go down to Mike's Taylor, right? Or you go down to Howard or wherever you go down to and you get this beautiful suit made and you set yourself up. You go get your fresh haircut. Uh, for $150, you get your new glasses, you, you, you're looking spiffy, right? As you step up into the House of Assembly, you're looking sharp, you're looking clean, you're looking refreshed, and you're seeing old things. I am, this is an exhausting thing. This is an exo for Howard. This is exhausting. Who, what, who are we as a nation? It was innovative when uh, 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 Hubert Ingram came out and said that we can open up the airways. It's innovative. No matter the controversy associated with why he did what he did, and even now, a lot of persons talk about the Immovable Land Act, right? 
and indicating that they shouldn't do that. He shouldn't have done that. He destroyed the Bahamas. He's the worst prime minister ever. It's the innovation and daring to make a step in a particular direction is what many of us ignore. No matter if you're good, bad, or indifferent in these, you make a decision. My God, you could be wrong and strong. Mm? Or you could be tight and you could be right. It's up to you. But you got to move from this place of stagnation. There's accessible to all of us enough information how we could execute these things without, without any external entities and help. Without it. You know, I started to have this kind of a conversation this morning about what I observed during the pandemic. This is what the observation of Howard Grant was. Um, and let me tell you why I, I know this is because I'm intimately involved in these things. I have a company. My company creates apps. I told you this before. I have a company. My company creates apps, applications, small apps. It's on your phone. You download it. You identify these things. There are many persons in this country that do that. Okay, so I have a company who does that. And so without being able to, no one has to come to me and say, Howard, I think, what do you think about this? I want you to create an app for that. that those concepts normally don't work for me. Yeah, because you could go anywhere. You could go online and create your own app. But for me, the grouping that I have, about six guys that we talk, we sit down, we come up with these concepts. We say, what about this area? There's been an issue in this area. And then we create these kind of a concepts and a silhouette of what the app can do to be able to deal with a social ill. That's all my apps do. To deal with a social ill. That's it. That's it. As I'm sitting here and I'm looking at these particular things and we're making a determination as what we see in NIB, we've already had discussions about how we could create something to ensure that we could fix automation. And accountability and transparency can be able to be, uh, to be steadfast in this space. We already talk about these things. As I'm sitting here and I'm watching these things, this is why. That's why I say that. It's the only reason. So the only reason I come to you and I talk to you about technologies that can work is because people out here are actually doing that. But, you know, what the innovation is at this particular time for men and women to walk into the House of Assembly and say, we think we want to be able to go and create a hotline. That's bananas to me. People don't even use their telephone to call no more. That's where it, this kind of a distance exists between those in leadership positions and the community. And if you need to be able to go and get data and information about that, you can do that. No one even uses their telephone to call no more. It's text, voice note, text, voice note. People ain't got time. And if the voice note longer than 30 seconds, these people crazy. Who the hell can listen to all of this? Three minutes and 98 seconds. No one's listening to that. But this is what you've created. There's seven seconds, 30 seconds, clips on TikTok, so forth and so on. Compress your message and get to your audience. But you want to create a hotline that you have no one manning the phones and 100 telephone calls come in at one time for an issue that has been prevailing in the community and no one even answering the phone, someone in the back there eating crab and rice or stew fish because we could smell it out in the front office. And... This is what we are faced with. Non-productivity. And every single month, these people get a check. Now they're rowing about a bi-weekly bi check. They don't want to do that. But we have no say as it relates to productivity. We have no say as it relates to efficiency. We have no say as it relates to accessibility in our country. No say. We have to get what we get. And people have averted their eyes to the concept and idea of bribery. That's not even bribery no more. We are paying for efficiency. That is crazy. Isn't that bananas? If you want it done right, you need, to, you need to tip. Culturally, that has already seeped into our minds, and we have accepted this concept that says, hey, if I want it done right the first time, I can tip. 
if I want my, uh, 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 hypothetically, if I want my land uh, papers and blueprint to be identified, certified, accepted, and provided a number to be able to build my house, I get the, I get the tip for this? My father told me about it, uh, he said, years ago. Now, me and my father different. Me and my father different. My father says to me years ago, he says, I don't pay for nothing. I'm not, I'm not tipping a Negro. I, I, my daddy a little aggressive with the situation. So I'm not tipping a Negro nothing. He didn't say Negro. This is me trying to clean it up for you. I said, what do you mean, daddy? He say, I put my papers in. I give the dude my papers. We didn't clear down the property. We did everything. I did it. I had to pay for all these things to get done. And I give it to him to get certified. So the fellow say, give him X amount of $100. And I'll have that be before the weekend. So, but old man tell me, he say, I look at the fellow and says, no, 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 I'm not giving you nothing. Just do it when you get a chance. He said, months and months and months passed. And it sat on the guy's desk. And he did absolutely nothing because he, my father decided within himself that he's not going to tip someone to do their job. Months and months pass. This is when I was a little boy. It took my father and my mother almost 10 years out of their pockets to build this, this Ephesus, this, this, this cathedral. I don't know why they built this big house. Anyway, right? Now they keep asking for grandchildren to come in the thing. It echoing. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. It's so all in the back there. Nobody in there. Nobody in there. Right? Ten years they built this house to be able to have these things. And they stuck to their guns. And they said, we're going to do this thing the right way. And they did it the right way. But there's so many of us who have to scrap and go into an ASU and save money on the side and give it to somebody so we can be able to pay for the efficiency that you can do. My God, you ain't doing nothing now. Why you can't just take this care of this for me? Why you can't just do your job? We have become accustomed to this concept and idea that we have to pay for efficiency. We got to fix this in this country. We got to fix it in this country. I'm going to get in your business. Customs, immigration, uh, Royal Bahamas Police Force, Royal Bahamas Defense Force, I'm going to get in your business. No one should be signing up to get to work. Can I say this? No one should sign in in 2024. Oh, God. Howard, you stupid. Eh? And I could have Rebecca do that for me, or Chelsea, or Miss Green. How are you getting this? And I just have to drop my child. to Listen, I'm not in your business. I don't care what you have to do. You're in a man job. Why are you wasting the government water? You're in the government uniform. You're in the government time. You have a responsibility to execute accordingly. No one's paying you for your slackness. So let's have a very clear conversation. In 2024, the government of the Bahamas should not buy another ledger. Oh, my God. That's what I need to see. The government of the Bahamas had decided to re revoke its contract of being able to keep the ledger company open that has been out of business and only providing ledgers solely to the Bahamas and the Caribbean. We have decided to go paperless and create an opportunity to be able to access all of this, boom, online. Swipe card. Instantly, wherever you are, swipe card. There are, there are, Cards and detections that when you drive into the parking lot, you get swiped in. You ain't even out the car yet. You drive into the parking lot. Boom. My God, why are we using this technology? Why? Why? Why are we dressed up looking dead good, spiffy and clean, talking about things like archaeologists? But you know, these dinosaurs were here. At one point, we want to be able to try to revive those things. So we're looking for the right material to ensure that we could provide them with the meat to bring them back to life. And what the hell are you talking about, sir? We're done with dinosaurs. The closest we get to dinosaurs now is the chicken we just eat. 
You don't bother with these things. Let's have a clear conversation. Identify where we are. Where are we? Take an assessment of our country. Take an assessment of education. Take an assessment of these things and say, how do we now utilize the strength and the wherewithal that we have to move towards tomorrow? That's just the decency I want to be able to put before you. I'm grateful that you give me time to talk like this. And I'm hoping with all that I am and all that exists within me, I'm hoping to God that it provokes something in your mind to put something on paper. Stop playing with this. Child, it is what it is. You can't do nothing. These people teeth your idea. You rather die with your idea than them to teeth it? I'll be like that one person who say, this one do that to me and sit right outside the House of Assembly for years to let you know that that's my idea. You know what I'm talking about. I'm just trying to be decent with you. For years to let you know that this is my idea. I'd rather that get out than to just live in me dormant and my stomach churn because I know the potential that exists in me. I can't even bring that thing out because of fear of what somebody else can do. Stop watching. I can tell you what the fellas used to say from collage. Do you remember them? When they used to do their little skits? You remember this a couple of years back? Stop liking man. That was a skit. You remember that? Our care and concern is not what exists around us. But the responsibility that we have to purpose and the time that we live is getting out what exists in us. Get on your game and let's make this thing happen. Guys, it's 11.59. I got to be able to take a quick commercial break to get to news. And uh, we're going to be right back. On, on the other side, we should be able to talk to um, Ahmad Rashad. We're going to talk to some persons from China and we're going to be able to get into some things, okay? Uh, quick commercial break. We're going to be right back after this. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM, Nassau, Bahamas. Stay informed with the Nassau Guardian, your news delivered. Are you tired of chasing down the latest news? Why not have it delivered right to your doorstep? The Nassau Guardian is now offering an unbeatable home delivery service. Special subscription rates. Three months, just $44.80. Six months, only $79.52. One year, an amazing value at $143.36. Your daily news fix all year round. Don't miss out on this opportunity to keep up with the latest in local and international news, sports, business, and entertainment. Subscribe today. Call us at 302-2360 or 302-2353. Our friendly staff is waiting to assist you with your subscription. The Nassau Guardian, we've got the news you need. Don't wait. Call now and let us bring the world to your door. The foundation. 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 Foundation. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, 96.9 FM Radio, Howard Grant in your company, The Foundation. It's a beautiful day, grateful to be in your company. We have uh, this hour is actually stuffed with uh, persons, with ideas, and sort of being able to bring these things to the forefront. I'm grateful to be in this kind of a space right now to speak with the head of NACAC, right, which is the North American, Central American, and Caribbean Athletic Association, none other than Mike Sands. Mr. Sands, say good afternoon to the persons. Let them know who you are. Good afternoon. It's always a pleasure to be here. I think you said it all. NACAC, North American, Central American, and the Caribbean Athletic Association, which is the area governing body for athletics or track and field as we all know it. Mm -hmm. um, at the moment, I'm fortunate to sit in the chair. Um, at the confidence of the member federations that consist of the 38 countries, 
within our area. You've always been a, sort of a shining star, a beaming light from this athletic association standpoint, and always being able to be sort of a true north for persons to identify and move towards. Let me know what you guys are doing over at NACAC right now with this New Life Invitational. Well, the biggest thing that on our calendar, as you would know, um, we just got through with the World Relays, and of course, NACAC as the area association had general oversight um, of it, and I want to congratulate those persons that are uh, uh, daily involved with the event through the b as the host federation. Um, the World Relays served as a qualifier for the, for the Olympic Games, um, and of course, then there's the individual events. The deadly into the Olympic Games is June the 30th. So we at NACAC took a position that the number of our individual athletes that may not have met the qualifying standard and also a few of our really teams. And so we decided to host uh, the NACAC New Life Invitational. And that is going to have some 160, 180 athletes that are coming here specifically for that event, those who may not have met the qualifying standard from their respective countries. As equally important and probably more challenging, or as equally challenging, uh, relays as well. Uh, with the world relays, the, the eight, the top 14, there are 16 spaces available in the Olympic Games for each relay. And out of the 16, 14 came from participation in the Bahamas. So there are now two spots left around the world for countries with the top two times when the closing deadline comes. They will take the two top times that are left from the countries around the world and they will qualify for the Olympic Games. So this weekend uh, presents countries such as the Trinidad, Barbados, even Colombia have, have asked for an invitation to participate. So Colombia... So essentially what you're saying to me that all these countries coming in from these 38 countries that you are have jurisdiction over, right, for, for NACAC. Yes. And they're coming into the country to be able to qualify and identify whoever is winning in these particular sports can now go on to the Olympics. Well, it's not automatic. That's the thing, right? They can come here and they're, they're notwithstanding whatever their time may be at the close of the deadline, their time will now be matched against the rest of the world. So, for example, if we're in NACAC are having an event like we are, and then there's Europe having an event, and there's Africa, and there's Asia, or wherever those those athletes go, or those this teams is, go. This is, this is an amazing talk. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Let, me, let me fix what's happening here. So, you have an official event, right? You mm-hmm. have an official event, let's say let's say the IAAF, right? World and you go to, to, to the World Athletics, you identify those things, you don't come in with those numbers, but you feel like you still uh, got the strength, right? Like Richard said, you feel like you still can be able to do it. You could come down to this event, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And qualify again. And mm-hmm. you're going to take this time mm-hmm. and uh, be able to cross-examine it over the course of all these things and you could still possibly make it in. Yes, yes. That is crazy. Yes. So, for example, the Bahamas should have its A-team. I mean, unfortunately, they didn't have their best team because of college obligations for the, some of the athletes. But now we have the Lawrence Jones and, and the other athletes that would put together the that Bahamas team. And so now they have to get well, the Bahamas women's team is like tenths of a second off. I mean, it's 43-17, and that's where the Bahamas is, probably sitting number 18 in an 18 spot. So they would have to now up their game to get into the top 16. Big time. Uh, big time. So you've got, that's what I'm saying, even Colombia has asked for an invitation. They're not in our jurisdiction, but they've asked for an invitation for the 4 by 4 really, or the 4 by one really. And so Colombia will be here with their team. So we can expect to see a lot of people in the country this weekend. Well, I mean, yeah, of course. I mean, the team, like I said, there's 160 plus athletes. Uh, there's about, like I said, you got Jamaica, Trinidad. There's 18 countries that would be represented. You know, the numbers wouldn't be like the world really is, but there's 18 countries that would be represented that have missed the opportunity. Uh, but Jamaica, Trinidad, Barbados, the Virgin Islands, the Caymans, uh, and the Bahamas, Colombia, uh, those are the countries that have relays entered. So you'll see the epic showdown between the big three in particular, the Bahamas, Trinidad, and Jamaica, along with the new entrant. We have no idea what, uh, what Colombia is going to bring to the table. Then, of course, the Cayman Islands has uh, quite a number of good sprinters. So at the end of the day, the showdown is going to be between the countries who's battling for the top spot. But but their spot doesn't mean anything if let's say for example, if they run thirty eight six in a four by one really. And somebody has run thirty seven. And then and then next week or before the deadline, uh, another country runs thirty seven six, then they automatically knocked out. And they know this going in. 
Yeah, yeah. The, the, so they got to come. Everybody come over there. Which they did, yeah, they, yeah. And, and there's and there's only a few more weeks left. And the challenge is because countries also going into their national championships and their real Olympic trials. Okay, there's not much more opportunities for relay teams to compete because at the end of the day. Right, the deadline is June the thirtieth. So does NACAC and this particular New Life Invitation that now, uh, let's say that we we run a thirty-eight, right? Mm-hmm. The, the relay team runs a thirty-eight, and uh, we're knocked out. Is there any other opportunity around the world that my relay team could go to to qualify again to be able to get in, or this is the last the last mm-hmm. chance? From where I sit, this is one of the most comfortable last chances because at the end of the day. Um, like I said, national championships are taking place, and so to try and find a relay meet, uh, or a meet that has relays in it, uh, we're talking about the 16th, which is Father's Day, obviously, we know, right? So, but uh, And then the next weekend and the next weekend are uh, area championships, national championships, like Jamaica and the others. So they may or may not have relays in there, but the athletes will be more focusing on their individual events. This is exciting. To be stuff. able to get, you know, to get because we also have individual um, events, too. We have 19 individual events, and incidentally, those events will bring with it $76,000 in prize money. This is exciting stuff. So I want you to tell me about this. Uh, so it's going to be happening this weekend. I know that you have a sort of invitation. If a person's got to uh, pay or whatever, they got to get in. This sounds like this is going to be even harder than the official standpoint because if you're coming with your heart, if you're coming with your passion, we expect to be able to see these fight, these fellas fighting too. Uh, the last thing, the yeah, last drop. Yeah, and just to, just to add, right, I want an op- opportunity to obviously thank the government, the Minister Boleg and the Ministry for recognizing this and giving the athletes the opportunity and supporting this event. Um, the event will take, notwithstanding that the facilities, we are moving into the original Thomas and Robinson Stadium because if you moved around, you would see the work that has been done in the new stadium, yes. right? And there's a big plus to that because it creates more intimacy for the spectators to be close to the to the athletes. So you can hear your so you can hear and you can, you can hear and you can see it, right? Go, oh, Tonya! <laughs> so, so yeah, it's 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 um it's we like we said it's going to be hot. I mean, it's going to be hot. Set on it's going to be hot. Seventy six thousand dollars in prize money. Each, each event. You can win money and a chance to go to the Olympics? Each event, oh each event will have a prize money, starting with, I think, $2,000 for the winner, and it goes all down. Now, I have to add this. The meet will start on time because we are mandated by World Athletics, and there's also going to be video streamed and everything else, and we, we cannot go beyond three and a half hours. So, the What time we start? With the gates open at 5, and we'll, 5 start, yeah, and we'll start at 6 We'll start at six p.m. sharp, and we must start at 6 p.m. sharp. We're going to start with the hammer throw. The, the hammer throw, I don't know if, it, if it's ever been contested in the Bahamas before, but we've got, for example, two of the top, I don't have the list with me, but we have two of the top, the Cuban top hammer throwers Ooh. that will be arriving in town tomorrow. It's yeah. going to be good. Yep. Uh, we have the hammer show. Is there a price to get inside? Uh, we range from fifty dollars to five dollars between from the VIP. You down start to from the top. You start the next round. Five dollars, fifty dollars. Well, let's suppose the, 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 the VIP. We can reach that. Is, the VIP is very very limited. We, very we limited. can reach that fifty dollars. So we're not not more than we have about a hundred seats available VIP, but then we're going down to twenty to twenty 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 five dollars, five dollars. Is there a number or something that persons could be able to reach out to so you can get some tickets in advance or anything? At the moment, we, you can. Go on NACAC, N-A-C-A-C, Paris, dot org, or dot com, one of them. I didn't know which one it is, but uh, just go on, and then just put, just go and buy tickets, and you can purchase a ticket there. NACAC.com, NACAC.org, you just find out the information, N-A-C-A-C, Paris, Paris P-A-R-I-S, yes. all one word, right? Yes, yes. Okay, go check that out. Are you guys on Facebook or anything like that? Yeah, we have we, we've got we've got everything. Don't ask me all the details of it. That's <laughs> <laughs> happened. So, <laughs> I won't ask you all the details. We also have a we also have a, a, a NACAC Athletics website. Okay. Yep. So. NACAC Athletics website, guys, go and check that out. Find out more information. If I get any fly, uh, flyers or anything, I'd be more than happy to send it to you at eight two seven zero one one one. Also, and be a part of this. I think that this is a tremendous event. New Life Invitation is going to be happening this weekend. Is that June Father's Day on Father's Day? And so we that's Sunday. It, yeah, the reason we put it there to the day we had to move it up. Nobody because, eat their, their crowd. They no, we're, eat no, we're gonna we're gonna make sure I give something to all the fathers that are attending. At least the first hundred fathers. My God. But we also decided. Because we, you know, the windows are closing. I mean, obviously, and uh, with the inclement weather that we were having in the past, we had to move it to a later date, which is this day, right? And at the end of the day, 
for, you know, we put it at five o'clock because we know that all the events would have happened uh, by then. And, you know, bring your father, bring your uncle, bring your granddaddy, you know, and just spend three hours in with the, us. In the spirit of decency, I want to say that y'all wouldn't do this on Mother's Day, but I'm bringing a fight, y'all. No, but, but, I, but listen, 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 listen. We, we figured the fathers be going to give us some special attention. You know, and we wasn't gonna get a gift no house. So if you show yeah. up, you get something. Yeah, the window's gone. Then the window's closing. The window's closing, and so you know we had to take advantage. Of it. It, it was either that or nothing. Oh, you know, and well, so we we well, wanted to great opportunity, and you know this is a special treat for the fathers, especially those sports fan fathers. Guys, NACAC dot NACACParis dot com, NACACParis dot org. Find out more information. Check them out. NACAC Athletics on Facebook. N A C A C. Find out more information. Please participate. They got everything going on. You know that these people are bringing their A game. They come back with blood in their eyes with this determination to kind of make things happen and we're grateful for the opportunity to be able to do those things. Mr. Sands, my brother, I thank you so very very kindly for being able to be here with us today. It is a wonderful thing. you got to come back more uh, uh, and be able to tell us about some more stuff that's happening from an athletic standpoint and be able to kind of appraise the country about what's happening in these areas. So I agree, I'm grateful to you for being able to do that today. I thank you for your time this time. Yes, sir. Until next time. Unt until next time. <laughs> until next time. Ladies and gentlemen, quick commercial break. Be right thank back you. after this. Foundation. Looking for a breakfast that will wake up your taste buds and kickstart your day? Well, Burger King NASA has got you covered with the new Angry Chris Sandwich. Made with fluffy eggs, melted cheese, jalapenos, a spicy sauce, and your choice of ham, sausage, or bacon on a warm croissant. Make it a combo and add our signature hash browns and your choice of coffee, tea, or orange juice for a great way to start your day. Spice up your breakfast with the new Angry Chris Sandwich combo only at Burger King NASA. Now let me see now. 326 ETIC. Hello? Hello? This this epic e e kit battery? This Miss Bueller from around the corner. I hear you all selling tires now on Wolf Road 2. Praise the Lord. It's about time. I live Fox Hill and Fire Trail. It's too far. That ain't all. They open Monday to Friday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. On Sunday and holiday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. My brother Sam, he's a hacker, and he could go right there and get fixed up. Call us at 326 Epic. We ship also to the family island. Doctors Hospital has reimagined primary care. We have invested to improve our health system, ensuring that accessible, affordable, world-class clinical care is closer to you. We understand that your relationship with a primary care provider shapes the foundation of your overall health. Our new modern primary care facilities are where critical diagnoses and true personalized treatment begins. With locations across New Providence, Grand Bahama, and Exuma, we invite you to experience the Doctors Hospital difference. Book your next appointment at Clinic Doctorshosp.com. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. Foundation. The foundation. The foundation. We are back, ladies and gentlemen, 96.9 FM radio. Howard Grant and your company, The Foundation, here with a very, very good friend of mine. You hear, uh, I think it was last January, the very first time, no, 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 last January, when we first started this, uh, the very first time that we introduced this, we had a dynamic conversation. Uh, we forged a brotherhood, and I think that that thing is going to last uh, well through to the end of time, because I'm Amen. very grateful for uh, good, decent men who have uh, a desire to be able to see that kind of a passion and idea. You could pull it out of people. You could encourage them. You could remind them about where they are and where the Father has called them to be. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce you to a very good friend of mine, all the way from uh, astute talent management, none other than my good friend, Ahmad Rashad. 
Thompson, I'm going to say good afternoon to the Good afternoon, the Honorable, the Right Honorable, the most distinguished listen, Howard Grant. Listen, listen, listen. Thank God I always. Know. If I was an MP, I'd get fired just now. Hey, <laughs> the Right Honorable. Oh, Lord. It is always a pleasure, my brother, to be in your presence. Oh, I believe that this is in breath for our lifetime, and I bless God that he's allowed our paths to cross. I'm grateful for that. Yes, sir. My brother, you got in the front of me right here, a uh, shift into focus. There's some things that you've been doing from mm -hmm. a human resource standpoint, from identifying uh, the talents that exist in persons to being able to sharpen and hone that in and have them move in various industries and in various sectors, encouraged, inspired, and revived in terms of their participation in these yes. things. You've captured that. Over yes. the course of two years, you've captured that. Mm -hmm. Not only for places, we started off at the Fox Hill, uh, community center. Fox Hill Community mm -hmm. Center, and then you made a significant indeed, upgrade, indeed. right? You've been able to do those things. Now you're capturing this information for those persons who may not necessarily catch you in those areas, but you've 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 been in this kind of a, a thing for a long time, and you have shift into focus, a guide to living a purposeful life. Talk to me about this. Yes, sir, Howard. The book, the book is here. The book started from an assignment. The book is in itself an assignment, but the book became a part of the assignment. This is crazy. Late, la crazy is. I'm out. This is crazy. Howard, you are holding. This is but not. If you would, if you would just please, Howard, open the book, right? And if you go to the, the very first written. This page, is a decent book. The, the first written, like the introduction. I believe it's the introduction, where it says. You got dedications here. That's it. You got contents. That's it. You got acknowledgments. Real right book. Here. Oh my God! You got the author's notes uh -huh. here. Oh, the author's note. Go you, to the author's note for okay. me. The first line. You got the author's note here. This book that you are holding is a labor of love from two authors, Ahmad Rashad Thompson and the Holy Spirit. Full stop. This is bananas, Hard. sir. This book this is, is literally crazy. an assignment from God, from the Holy Spirit, that He trusted me with, and that I do not take for granted. I believe that every single human being on this planet has been created to do something for this planet, in this planet. You are not here by chance. You are not here. Your mommy didn't just miss anything. Um, right? She wasn't just fresh. It. She wasn't just fresh. I mean, she was fresh. It might have been the freshness that alluded to My God! It, but I can tell you one gave thing. birth! It doesn't matter your circumstance, the, way, the reason you got here, or the means by which you got here. The, park, the fact is, you are indeed here on purpose, for purpose, in purpose. And this book is People to help to you hear to, this amount. Listen to me, Howard. People, we have to understand that every fiber of God's being has gone into creating you. He left nothing on the table when he fashioned you in your mother's womb. And you round the place, acting small, playing small, forgetting what God said about you, believing what the devil says about you, and he has absolutely no power over you. This book is a reminder to you. It is a wake-up call. It is indeed a come-to-Jesus moment that you have to look in the mirror, reflect on who God created you to be, and shift into focus. Ahmad, this is a tremendous thing that you've done uh, in terms of being able to commit this. Uh, like you said, that this is not a, uh, only an assignment from you. You know why this is a pivotal conversation mm -hmm. at the beginning of the conversation, if you, if you mm -hmm. were able to listen to what I was saying. It's an exhausting thing for political and social archaeologists that continue to be able to identify uh, the, the dry bones of non-productivity in mm. yesteryear and seek mm. to kind of give life to it, put flesh to it, yeah. and kind of remind people or bring that back. This here is a very clear understanding that there is a purpose that you've been called to. You need to move toward that. Okay. The, the, right now. Right that now. Thing, that living you. Jesus. That got to come out. Howard, it, this is the 100 and I believe 64th day of the year. I want to get it right. I don't want Google to, to be mad at me. Google said, Ahmad, Today is 165. This is the 165th day of the year of our Lord, 2024. That means there are 201 days left. I want you to look at your life right now. Do not look at your life in despair or in some level of desperation. Look at your life from the lens of hope. That means you have 201 more days to get it together, to live in purpose. This is no time to look back at the 164 that have already gone. In that book, I write a chapter. It's called The Time Is Now. And I encourage people to survey each day. 86,400 seconds each of us are blessed with every Jesus Day Howard. And how many of us spend today's 86,406 seconds, 86,400 seconds, sorry, looking at the last 86,400? 
If somebody give you $86,400 every day, you looking back at what you spent yesterday? No, sir. You're looking forward to tomorrow. So why then are you looking back at time that you can no longer spend? This is the time for you to shift into focus, my brothers and sisters. Stop lollygagging. And my grandma would say, stop doing what's called duggery, man. God is counting on you, and so am I. Life is counting on you. Mm, Jesus. The country is counting on you. Wow. Your future is counting Indeed, on you. Indeed, Howard. I don't think people do that. I think that, you know what happened? Let me tell you what happened. We have given over to the notion of the rhythm that exists in our society, the traditions, the culture that men create. Mm. And we grab hold of that. And put and deep, deep in our hearts. Dig deep. You dig this thing My and make it Jesus. a part of your life. It's you know, like when you, when you get burned up in the fire and they graft your skin to your, to your skin. Mm -hmm. You grafted this ideology that humans have created. And you've put aside that which God says about you. This thing, a part of your DNA. So much so that your children are now breathing and breeding what you sowed into them. This is crazy what you say. My saying. God. Mm. This grafting, not just the grafting, you know, that people accept these yes, things. Yes. How do you solidify it and put the bomb, the ointment My God. of this kind of, and solidify Set them. That so, you know what they do? They say things like, well, you know what I could do. It is, it what, is, it is. what it is. That's I, what they just say. Howard, that's what I, wish, I just wish, I pray, I pray, I don't wish, I pray. That tomorrow morning we could wake up and that, that statement just never ever exists again. How could it be what it is when you made it yet? How it's not what it is. It's what it sense. could be. It don't even make sense for it is to be what it is. What? If you ain't never tried Oi. to make it is, hey. be is something that's in. My oh, God! You see I went back flip, Howard? You ain't even try. Wow. And now, as I look at your book, the yes, tangibility sir. of it yes, all, sir. the ideas that existed on your tongue for yes. a long time, that yes. you spoke into the captured in your Habakkuk 2 and 2 state, wow. and you write wow. the thing down and make it plain. And, here it and is. now we're speaking it out into the atmosphere Jesus. and the time and dispensation, that the innovation that existed mm. in people, mm. the creativity that existed in people, for you to be able to birth that thing and bring it to life, my God, you got to be John the Baptist. <laughs> hey! Here we are. I just get preachy, you know. Wow. You I, know, I need spirit. to call her sometimes. Hey, hey, hey. I got to call her. I got to be a white caller. Like <laughs> nah, yeah, yeah, come on now. Nah. You got to stay in the spirit. Let's, What's let's, the white caller hey. in the time? Can you <laughs> we can be decent, right? Listen my me, Lord, man. my Lord. Listen, I, I'm so very proud of you, Thank you so Ahmad. much, brother. Uh, listen, ladies, you have to support uh, persons like Ahmad. You have to support Bahamian people mm -hmm. uh, and locos. Uh, citizens of the country that seek to be able to move us out the muck and mire of non-progression and growth. Mm -hmm. you, you, the muck and mire of this kind of a stagnant state and mm -hmm. being able to inspire us, fuel us with words, with ideas, with vision, with their life. Yes. Applying themselves to this sort of an application for growth and development, I need you to purchase this book. My mm -hmm. God. I need you to, am I ready people can buy this book from? What I want them to do, though, Howard, before they go buy it, I want you to join me this evening, tonight, at 6.30 p.m. virtually, you are joining me as we shift into focus. We're going to have a virtual book launch. And this is not going to be your typical book launch, ladies and gentlemen. Before I go any further, all you have to do to attend this book launch tonight, at this, this night, whatever you already had book, cancel them. Tell them what we could do. We can go to the shifting instead because we have to get our lives together. We have 201 more days to get it together, to shift into focus. You only have to text 468 Zero one nine two. Text the word shift. Shift. Text that word shift to four six eight zero one nine two. S H I F T. If you spell that S H E F T S H P F T, I know what you're trying to say. Okay, we ain't gonna do you funny to the, for that today. Yeah. But the real spelling is S H Y F T. If you can okay, be that, if you can be correct. Okay. Text them coming through Howard. Don't. That's what I'm. That's what I'm talking about, Mom. You ready to shift? Let's go. Four six eight zero one nine two. You text the word shift, and we're gonna we're gonna send you the link so you can register and attend tonight. What we're gonna do? How we're gonna gather in one space? We're going to come together, and we're going to shift the atmosphere. Here's what we have to do. Many of us gather for foolishness. We gather for skullduggery. We gather for nothing with sense. Why don't we gather to change our world? This evening, somebody asked me, Amar, why would you bring other authors in your book launch? I have invited four additional authors, Bahamians, Bahamian authors that represent, in my opinion, excellence in our country. And I will always, always, always use any platform God blesses me with to magnify that of somebody else. Here's why. If it is that Howard has a gift and a market benefit from it, 
If Howard has a story that can change a man's life, if Howard has an, has an experience or an example that I can follow to take my life to the next level, why would I not want somebody to see what Howard has through my opportunity? Why not? So what we're going to do at some point, and I can't give you all the secrets now, ladies, you got to come, and gentlemen, you got to come join us. But at some point this evening, we're going to hear from Mrs. Ruth Davina Bow. We're going to hear from Miss Simone Elbow. We're going to hear, that's Simone L dot dot bow, not elbow. We're going to hear from Lady Patrice Taylor. And we're going to hear from Bishop Delton D. Ellis. These are four prolific multi-authors in our country who have shifted, who have taken that Habakkuk 2 and 2 and written the thing down and the vision has then been made plain. Different industries, different artistries, but they have come with one purpose, to see you, to help you, to cause you to shift. We are giving away many, many things. Come on down, get some free stuff because it's Father's Day. Come on, come on, come on. Additionally, we have a special activity we want you to do. We need you to bring your cousin, your auntie, your, bring your ex-boyfriend because he got his shift too. Bring him. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. The we ain't gonna tell, bring him. Now, if you have a current boyfriend, leave You're trying to make them alone. shift in their spirit. I need you to shift in your natural and in your supernatural My because God. irrespective of who you are, irrespective of what you've done, irrespective of who, where what you're you from. What you call me for, Keisha? Don't worry about it. Join this call and get your life together because I tired of you texting me for other dumbness. Is it going to text me something with sense? At 3 o'clock in the morning. Ah, Shando. <laughs> Let's shift the way we do things and let's cause some things to happen for us and our families. Join us tonight, ladies and gentlemen, at we ain't starting 6.40, we ain't starting 6.30, when we start at 6.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. And this is all going to be moderated, hosted by the one, the only, Miss Cherily Pinder. Mm -hmm. And all y'all know Cherily. Mm -hmm. So y'all know you're about to have a time this evening. We are going to have a spirit-filled time, but also a purpose-filled time. Mm. I need you to bring everybody you know. This room could hold about 500 people. I want 501. I want y'all to call my phone during the broadcast and say, I'm out, I can't get in the room because it's full. We can make another one if we have to. Join us tonight. We are at about 200 and something people and register, Howard. I need you to get that number up. Join us tonight. Don't wait. Don't skip. Don't do nothing. Stop the lunch. Stop the train from the school. Don't worry. Just pull on the side of the road. Be safe. 468-0192. You text the word SHIFT to us right now. My team will send you the link to register. I need you to be in place. Get your popcorn. Get your, little, your, your cup of coffee. Your cup of tea. Your cup of water. We shift until you can't bring them out. Nah, I ain't gonna judge you. But whatever you need to sip on to get your life together, bring that. Jesus. Get your holy water, get you your holy wine, it, you and come and let's shift into focus. The scene, the time, the skylark, ladies and gentlemen. How about I can stop there for a second? I appreciate this, Ahmad. Yes, sir. What you have done just now, because mm -hmm. I get a text right now about wow. it. I got to say the number 4680192. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 4680192. Shifting the change and being able to get yourself prepared. There's going to be a virtual book launch tonight, 6.30 p.m. That's more text coming through your phone. Yes, coming through right 6 now. 6.30 p.m. tonight. We got 200 and some people that we got to pull this thing up on. You got to find out more information. You got to be able to get this. Is, is the event free? People texting right now. They it's free. Know. It is free. Is the event free? free? All you have to do is give us your time and give us your attention. Give God your heart right now. I know, Pastor, I can't do all the call, but I can tell you one thing. The thing that God wants to birth through you right in this day, on this 165th day of the year, is necessary. The world needs it. The world needs you, and I need you to be with me tonight as we shift into focus. Stop wasting time, man. Stop blaming everybody around you, and this is not to lambaste you. This is to encourage you. This is to, to jumpstart you, to cause you to shift. Now, yes, and then sir. you give us more information on how we can be able to purchase this book. Yes. This book was forwarded by none other than mm. Bishop Neil C. Neil Ellis. Neil Clarence Ellis of Poggy Bay. Poggy Bay. Bishop, yes. I got you, brother. This is an I mean, sorry, but I got thing. you, sir. I got you, sir. Please sorry, but let's get a little excited. All right. But, um, um, yeah, we can talk. We better get the book. But in the meantime, let's say you can't even wait till 6.30 this evening. You can run up on there by, by the... um. um all Seasons Book and Gift Center over there in the Palmdale Plaza. Guess what, y'all? They wrote me and said, Ahmad, we wish, to, we wish to feature you as the author of the month. As this is, now, I'm not a father just yet. But the people say, because it's Father's Day, we're going to represent all fathers by having you be the featured author of the month. And so you can go over there now at the book, All Seasons Book and Gift Center and purchase the book. It's there in the bookstore. It's also in Through the Pages bookstore down there on the Bay Street. 
The main Bay Street. The main downtown Bay Street. The Bay Street. Mommy, I make it downtown, gal. What a time! Now, when you go downtown, you got to drive slow. Right when you pass the street, they can be right there on the right-hand side. You can't. You must walk down there. Don't drive. You can miss your turn. So What's park through the Pages bookstores and Three all pages. Bahamian bookstore. It's in the new Tourism Incubation Center down there on East on Bay Street. You go I in there. I saw that. You saw that. Yes, I saw that. How would you got to take the foundation down there? Now, Ooh, there. Let's go. I like this. We could do that right on Independence. You saw an Independence show? Of course. We could do that on Independence Day. How about that? Let's go. We need to go down on Bay Street. Now, y'all, get ready, because I could be a different shift coming on there now. So we can go down I there. I'd love to do that. Through the pages, bookstore, because this is an all Bahamian thing down there now. Only Bahamian authors featured in the store. Children of all ages, adults, black, white. Do they have Sinlin, Sinlin, and Pinlin books? Somebody I believe there's a lady down there. Somebody call me from Through the Pages, 8270111. I've been looking for the vision book for a very long time. Yes. I'm going to need that. They, they may have that down there in a while. Right? They may have that. Tell them come up and check me out. Yes. Right? Additionally, you can find the book on the Amazon, of course. Mm -hmm. You can also, I have, yes, you can find it on Amazon. You can find it online. You can find it. In the All Seasons book and gift store, you can also find it at Through the Pages bookstore. But tonight, I want you to come and meet us in the Zoom room as we get ready to shift into focus. 4680192. That's 4680192. Just text one word, shift, and you'll get yourself uh, all the link and everything like that. Ahmad, I want to thank you so very kindly, my brother. Do not be a stranger. We I want to be able not. to continue to push this for you and talk about what you got going on for Shift into Focus. We yes. are extremely proud of you. Thank you so much, Ahmad. I am extremely proud of you, God my bless brother, you, brother. Because in one year, we thought of this. Wow. We captured this. Wow. Now we're selling this. Here we are. And not just selling this, you know. We are providing inspiration. Indeed. For we are changing lives. I this truly believe, stuff. Howard, that this assignment is meant to shift this generation right now. We are going to do something incredible tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Do not miss your opportunity to shift into focus. God bless you. Ladies and gentlemen, it's none other than Ahmad Rashad Thompson being able to bring you shift into focus from uh, Astute Talent Management. Uh, Got to be able to be a part of what he's doing. It's going to be a virtual uh, launch tonight, book launch, 4680192, 4680192. Quick commercial break. Be right back with my guys Omar and uh, Lorenzo after this. My brother. Hey, hey, Margaret, send them, send them right up. Oh, okay. The foundation. Tired of banks forcing you to use technology to bank the way they want you to? Your convenience is important. So no matter what your banking needs, Commonwealth Bank's friendly staff are always available in branch for that personal one-on-one -on -one service. But when you choose technology, our online and mobile banking app offers you state-of-the-art functionality. The choice is yours. Commonwealth Bank. Bank the way you want. Bonneville Bones, established in 1970, is the leader in men's fashion in the Bahamas. We're conveniently located in the Mall at Marathon and the Harbor Bay Shopping Plaza, and fully stocked with everything you need for all occasions. Our Harbor Bay location is one door north of Alive with the black and white signage of Bonneville Boutique. Both locations are open from 10 to 7 p.m. Monday through Saturday. Bonneville Bones and Bonneville Boutique, still the leader in men's fashion. Located in the Mall at Marathon and the Harbor Bay Shopping Plaza. It's gonna be a hot summer. Get ready for the NACAC Athletics third annual New Life Invitational as the race to Paris continues. Join us on Sunday, June 16th at the original Thomas A. Robinson National Stadium as Team Bahamas and over 170 international track and field athletes from over 18 countries compete for another chance to qualify for the Paris Olympics. Gates open at 5 p.m. Races start at 6 p.m. Don't miss the exciting individual races and relays from world champions and Olympians. Watch the epic showdowns between countries from around the world, like Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago, the United States, Canada, Liberia, and our very own Team Bahamas, as they all battle in one of their last chances to qualify for Paris. <laughs> Buy your tickets today at NACACParis.com or NACACParis.com. That's the New Life Invitational, Sunday, June 16th. It's gonna be hot. You don't want to miss it. This is Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. Foundation. Found. 
foundation. The foundation. And we are back, a power pack hour. I'm grateful for the opportunity to talk to Mr. Sands, talk to Ahmad Rashad, and now I got my good friends in the studio being able to talk to us about the China trip. We always talk about innovation, about growth, expansion. We started the conversation off like that, and now we got to continue this about these experiences that exist across the pond, right? Way across the next side of the pond. But we can go there. We're always hearing great things about these guys. I want to introduce you again to none other than Omar Smith and Antonio Lorenzo Bullet here talking to us about their China experience. Say good afternoon to the people, guys. Good afternoon, Bahamas. Yes, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, good to be here with you again. Uh, closing off, uh, what, do you, what do we call What do we call it? This is uh, your special, early bird special. So... <laughs> <laughs> So yes, yes, yes. Uh, but it's a pleasure to be here to uh, discuss our upcoming China experience explosion business trip to China. So when you guys get now, I, so I, we know that they go, they have a, an opportunity to trade fair that happens in April. You've had an opportunity to do that. You had a phenomenal experience. A lot of persons come back with uh, sort of great ideas. Uh, this is sort of an enthusiasm from being able to travel with you guys to China in April. But there's another opportunity coming up at the end of the year, just around the end of the year, uh, the last quarter around in October. Talk to me about that. Well, October is a great time to go to China. That's when the weather's a little bit cooler, just like how it is here in Nassau or in the Bahamas. So we love that cool weather down there. And, you know, we keep on saying this, guys. If, if you want a great experience, if you want to go into business, if you just want to see, we have some people who just go for the, just for going sake, you know, I prefer to go with some Bohemians. i never been to China before. I may never get to go. So let me go with some Bohemian guys who know their way around China so I can see what China is all about, so I can experience it for myself. But mainly what we do it for is for business, for business opportunity that individuals will be thinking about going into business. This is a great opportunity for you to go. And the only problem I have with this, uh, with, 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 with it all is that your people say, well, I'll go next time, next time, next time. Well, this is the time to go. You know, stop putting things off. And then we put things up, we procrastinate, it processes by. That's another year gone by. You know, and, uh, you know, Omar keep on bugging me. And you keep on bugging me about the early bird special. Well, the early bird special. Am I really bugging you, sir? I think you're bugged. <laughs> That's the only problem. You don't want, you don't want to do the early bird special. Listen, there, you know why? Let me tell you why. Uh, from the way that we grow in our society, right? We want those experiences, but we've been taught to count, to pinch pennies. We've been taught to, well, what you can do with this money? We have become accustomed to the rhythm of life that exists and not knowing that the potential of being able to tap into something different could change the course of your life. And I think that this is what this China trip is. Yeah. That it could change the course of your life if you stop procrastinating, if you stop putting this thing off, if you stop trying to count your pennies and say, my God, all of that? You can change your life and simultaneously get your monies back on maybe one or two duffel bags. Talk to me about it. Yeah. Well, I'm going to talk about that. But I'm going to say this. The early bird special ends Father's Day. It ends Father's Day. So if you're interested in, in going up with us on this trip, you can give us a call. Howard will give those numbers out later. But if you want to go, come go with us. But I'm going to talk about that part of the trip. Yeah. Um, well, listen, that's breaking news. Breaking news because the early bird special was supposed to have been over. Uh, those people who did you did you have to twist his arm? Man, listen, <laughs> I, 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 I ain't gonna talk all our business. You know how we go. You know, we, hey, Lorenzo don't like no early bird special, but um, you know we we want to because we have a, a lot of time in between this and the next uh, uh, now and the next trip in uh, October. Um, not only be able to do the early bird special, but what it does is it locks you in at that uh, lower price, and then you're able to pay in installments, so you don't feel the burden of of, of uh, the, the is there a minimum, price. or I suppose you guys are going to be talking about this over the, the minimum? Yes, the minimum. Right. The minimum. No, you, you just pay a minimum of, of five hundred down. Okay, I tell you what, just five hundred down, and and that will lock you in at, at the early bird special, and then you just make your payments. And by the time we leave uh, in uh, November, you can't even do that. No, you can't. You can't. You can't even beat that. Yeah, we we make it. We listen. We make it affordable because listen, we understand how impactful it is to go to China and to be able to. Expand, even if you're already in business, you can expand your business. You can take your business to the next level you because of the, the low prices. And then if you're not in business, 
you can get into business very easily. You, know, you, you mentioned the, the duffel bags. You, you can bring a couple of duffel bags. It pays for your trip, and you have some money in your pocket left over. And then there's so many things we do. I mean, we, we take people to, to the, the, the Clifford Hospital, which is a world-class hospital where you get, I mean, it's like a five-star hotel. It doesn't even smell like a hospital. I mean, it's a beautiful place. Uh, if you, once you, we'll, we'll put, put, we put pictures up in our WhatsApp groups and everything so you can get, take a look at it. Uh, we've had procedures done there um, that, that would cost like 10 times more um, in the West and in, in the Bahamas especially. And I mean, just there's so many things. And if you want to hear about these things, you can come to Fusion tonight at 7 o'clock. Uh, that's where we have our meeting. And um, we give you all the details and uh, we can lock you in then. So tell Father's Day. That's breaking news. Yeah, breaking Father's news, Day, everybody. Yeah, Father's, Father's Day. Day. Um, yeah. Twelve o'clock Father's Day. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, the early bird police has has lifted <laughs> the moratorium. <laughs> so 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 for all of the friends, embargo. Yeah, yeah, we lifted the embargo. You know, I, I heard some Russian ships supposed to be on the way here. So I don't know. If we're gonna have the uh, the Cuban Missile Crisis again. This is a lot. But but uh, Mr. Bullard. This is a lot. Has raised has has put the moratorium. My God. And so now. For for all of you who have fathers who may be in business, uh, and you want and you want to give them an the opportunity, this, come put the five hundred dollars down on it for your daddy. Yep, put, yeah, put it you down. You can do it. And I don't do this for my daddy. Daddy has been able to give you something. Uh, we're preparing for you to be able to go to China. Right? Yeah. It's something that you've been dreaming about. It's something that you wanted to do for a very long time. Uh, over the course of time, I saw both my, my grandmother, and now my wife is starting to have these kind of conversations because, you know, we lived in Cuba. My grandmother went over to Cuba for a surgery at mm -hmm. one point, mm -hmm. right? And now my wife's starting to have this kind of a conversation that she wants to go to Colombia to do some, some dental work or whatever the case may be, which I think is a wild thing. Like, should we go that far? Right, but you're saying to me that you could go get your surgery, get yourself uh, your your um, uh, the full body synopsis about where you are from your health standpoint. You can get your dental work, you can get everything, and simultaneously talk to me. Simultaneously go and, and pick up some things, pay for your trip, and come back home. Okay, are you gonna beat that? Like you said, I had dental work done. And you will never know I had dental work done. No. Okay, I had a big, my, my, my mother would say, see, you, you, could, you could drive a, a, a freight train through your open gate. Oh, but do I open, do I open open gate? No, you're going to open gate. Okay. No, no. <laughs> you're straight. <laughs> I straight. You know, and, and it cost me little of nothing. You know, so, you know, it's up to the individual. It's, it's exciting. We've been doing this for over 20 years, man. Uh, I've been successful in business. Omar's successful in business. And China's helped us. I'm telling you, China's helped me. I, I, and I'm still doing business in China, you know, and it's just an op great opportunity. Yeah, we just want, you know what, honestly and truly, uh, this opportunity is so amazing because we take you to places, you know, because uh, there, there's a trade fair that everyone knows. Because we take you to the Canton Trade Fair, mm -hmm. um, but we also take you to markets okay. where you don't have to buy a 40-foot or 20-foot container. We take you to markets where the prices may be maybe a few cents more, but you can buy a pallet, maybe buy, you know, 100 pieces or whatever the case may be. And then we take you to another city. We take you to Sinjin, which is, which is a, a, like a, I guess, a, what do they call Silicon. it? Silicon Valley of, of, of China, yeah. I guess. Yeah. yeah. It, was, it was a, they called it a, a zone. Yeah, that they, all that the they, that they electronics made. are made there. Yeah, it's a zone that the Chinese government made up. There was a fishing village, Sinjin. And they just put out, uh, they, they gave them the uh, concessions. And now mm -hmm. it's, it's a... It's a it's a Silicon Valley of, of China, but the trip just for the dates. The trip uh, we leave, uh, no, we leave uh, October sixteenth, and we come back November first. And um, you know, we we it's an amazing trip. It's an all I can tell you. It's, it's changed so many people's lives, and um, it's and I was going to tell you, Lorenzo. So many people still contact me and us, and like as you know, and talk. They about contact the me for you also. I just want yeah, to let yeah. you know that. Okay, yeah, well, listen. I've been sending them your numbers, so hopefully they've been able to contact you. We'll tell you what we're going to do now. I guess we're going to make you our honorary partner then. Since, okay. since, since, since you've been operating in that capacity. I don't capacity. be honorary. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're giving me an honorary. <laughs> I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be able to do that. That's that really right. happens with honorary. No, 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 I will be honorary. Um, <laughs> right? Let's get honorary. Um, guys, but you know, a lot of persons have been reaching out to me and talking to me about what you guys do um, uh, and saying, Howard, listen, we've been hearing y'all talking about this China trip for a long time and how, how you could be able to get that. Give me the fella's number. And they've been interested in that because, uh, you know, a lot of persons may not even have this sort of an enthusiasm to move, right? A lot of people are kind of uh, gung-ho on doing business and their heads are down, but they need to find a space 
ways that they can still be productive. I, Omar, I know that they can be able to reach out to you for that. Yeah, you can reach out to uh, 4270930. That's my contact. And for Lorenzo? 455-9978. 455-9978. Yeah, so Lorenzo, it's just amazing. You know, I just, I was looking through our contacts. I don't know if you do it from time to time, but there's so many people who, who we've impacted and who, who are doing business in, at various levels uh, still from the trips that, that, we've, that we've done. And, um, you know, I, just the other day I was telling you about, we, we got some people, more people, well, we've done people out of the U.S. before, but we got some more, some Americans who are going to be making this trip this year. Really? So, yeah, 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 yeah. So we, we, we have, we, our, our, our reach is now growing. And, um, and uh, you know, it, it's, I think it's a testament to the job that we've been doing. It's a and you're still trying to keep those tight groups. Oh, yeah. 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 I mean, Very I mean, tight. Listen, once, once, you've, once you've done business with us, who's gone to, to China, we, caught, we were open to help you in any other ways because we do other stuff. We do sourcing, we do shipping. So all these other things, if you need, um, you know, some, some information, consultancy, if you run into problems in your business, because once, listen, once you come to China with us, we make sure that you're able to do business on your own. You don't need us anymore. All right? you, you, we, 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 don't, we don't give you a fish. We teach you how to fish so you can fish on your yeah. own. Now, from time to time, if your line break or you, you get snagged, I don't, know if you're, I don't know if any fishermen in here, but if, you're, if your hook gets snagged in a rock, and you need someone to tell you, well, hey, how to how to how to wiggle and whine and, and get that. Up. Up. Yeah, uh, yeah. And, you know, you can give us a call. And listen, we are always available to assist those, you know, who 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 we have uh, assisted in, in coming to. China. I see people already starting to call you, Antonio, and all these particular persons, guys. You want to be able to find out more information about this China trip and how you can be able to get down there tonight at 7 p.m. over at the Fusion. You want to be able to meet both Omar and Lorenzo this evening, and they're going to give you more information on how you can do that. It is a wonderful thing to be able to be in this kind of position. Grab $500, bring it down for your daddy, for your uncle, for your husband to be able to go on this trip. Now, this is not those kind of trips that a lot of men are going to put together, right? This ain't them kind of trips. Oh, no, 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 I don't know. I'm happily married. No, Omar is happily married. Happy I don't do them kind of trips. This ain't them kind of trips. What, say, what I'm saying by that is that this is truly a, an execution and sort of being able to identify where we can get business from, right? This is about business. This is about the future of your family. This is about ensuring that everything is laid out and you have like-minded people who can guide you through this. Over two decades of experience in traveling up and down through China to identify exactly where you could go. Now, you could go over there yourself. But then, you know, you may need more than two weeks to find out all these things because you don't know where nothing is. I got stories for you on that one. You, I, go, I, you I can go stories. yourself. Yeah, man. We, we, have we ain't got no name, but, you know, we're not going to call any we, name. We, but. Listen, we have people who have come to us after going on trips to China, and you wouldn't, you wouldn't believe it. They've actually walked and driven past some of the places we took them, and they didn't even know it was there. Uh, because if you don't know, you could just be right next to a place that may change your life. Yeah. And if you don't know about it, you know, you just would walk by and just leave it. And so, you know, we, we, are, we are just pleased to say that, you know, we, we make sure that you have an experience that, that, that basically can change your life. Well, as it relates to productivity, right, if you want to be productive on this trip, if you want to be able to utilize the, the length and breadth of your time to ensure that you can be able to execute and get this thing done properly, you want to be able to go with persons that are experienced. They've been telling you about the 20 years experience. They've been telling you about the ups and the downs. They've been telling you about their strategy and identifying where you can be able to go for electronics, where you can be able to go for hardware, where you can be able to go for for um, uh, those windows and fences and yes, this and yes, that listen, and other things yes, that you want. We have, listen, if you're, if you're building a, a, a home, the contractors out there, listen, cut out the middleman. That's what they, that, that, at one point, that was our slogan. Yeah. Cut out the middleman. Yeah. And once you cut out the middleman, listen, you not only would you get better prices, but you get a higher quality of a product. So, for example, if you let's say you're putting some tiles down in in a in a home that you're building, for the same for for probably less than the amount of money you're paying for the tiles here, put marble. You, you can put marble, porcelain, something like that. Go put a higher yeah. level of of a, a higher a higher level of a quality product you can put together. You know the doors. Listen, we saw some doors at the last trade fair that were amazing. I can't I can't listen. I can't wait till I build. It gives you a house in my other look. castle. But <laughs> to be honest with you, they got their money from. They I just cash tree. Yeah, I just brought in for a whole complex, a shopping complex. I just brought in all the windows for them, and. I don't want to say who it was, and I tell them, I said, let me bring in the doors for you. No, Mr. Bullard, I'm going to do it. 
when I when I delivered the windows, I think he was making sure that I could deliver the impact, Arkin Impact windows for his whole uh, shopping complex. I did that on Monday. Now he told me, Mr. Bullard, I need the doors. I of said, duh. Of course you need the doors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 So you don't want to do, you want everything to be uniform. Yeah, of absolutely. course you need the doors. You know, so we're bringing in the doors for, for the whole shopping com complex also. So this is where we tell people, why pay the, the higher price. Yes. Now, we're not saying that, you know, we're not trying to knock people who are trying to make a profit over here already. I mean, that's their business. But what we can do for you, which is your business, we can take you to the source. We, you don't have to deal with middlemen, or in some cases, middlemen, because sometimes the people here, they buy from somewhere yes. else <laughs> that's close. And those people buy it from where we're going to take you. So we cut out the middleman, and once you're in business, if you're building, whatever the case may be, you can save a lot of money. And that's that's what we're all about. We're trying to save you on the bottom line. Well, that's the show today, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank you guys again. Uh, tonight, make sure you go check them out over at Fusion. Go down there to the Fusion at 7 p.m. this evening. You can be able to sit down with none other than Lorenzo or sit down with Omar. They tell you more information about exactly what's happening, about what your expectations can be as it relates to being able to move forward and make some things happen from that standpoint. Guys, this is an exciting time. The entire show today was jam-packed with innovation. The entire show today was jam-packed with this sort of an idea to commit ourselves to something greater than the position that we're in, the greater than the sort of a stagnation that we're in right now. I want to thank you guys for being able to do those things and let's go to, go go to your phone number again let the persons know 455-9978 455-9978 and 427-0930 427-0930 see you tonight all right guys see you tonight 7 p.m if you want more information i'm sure you're gonna text me how about the phone number is 827-0111 i'd be more than happy to assist you guys that's the show today i'm grateful to all those persons we're looking forward to being able to see doctors hospital being able to come back again we thank you for all that you've done it's a great show we're going to see you tomorrow godspear right here on the foundation have a great day guys the foundation the foundation the foundation the foundation Foundation. 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 Foundation.